There are few things more rewarding than burying a crooked dagger into your foe's belly in Diablo 2. Utilizing your strength and wit to make him suffer for the damage he's caused you. But I would have to say, hurling a heavy broadsword as hard as you can directly at his necular region, slapping his head off in an instant, is equally satisfying. That's why this list had to be made of the most epic freaking swords in Diablo 2. We're excluding rune words and set items for this list. Only uniques, and only the number in which I desire. If you use the Herodric Cube recipe to up Head Striker, it could be a damn godly sword, and you get style points for using it, which counts for a lot, right? What's freaking GG about it is once you hit higher character levels, it's going to have over a 100% chance of deadly strike, meaning every single swing it does double damage. What's nifty about this is you don't have to worry about attaining more deadly strike on your other gears because you already have it maxed out with the sword, in which case you could replace your High Lord's Amulet with Atma's Scarab and have that chance to cast Amplify Damage and beat the shit out of your enemies with it. A non-Ethereal one is extremely handy as well, especially when you're trying to grind your way through hell with a Paladin or Barbarian. Pop a Head Striker into your fist and you won't regret it. Freaking lightsaber is godly. Okay, it's not godly. In fact, it's kind of a piece of shit. But once again, you get style points for using it. And come on, man, lightsabers are from Star Wars, and those films used to be good, right? But the thing about lightsaber is it offers the ignores target's defense mod which mean you always get a 95% chance, which is maxed out, to hit your enemies as long as they are the lesser evils or lesser minions and so forth. It gives you mana leech, so you don't have to worry about draining that shit and sacrificing other gear in order to get that method. But what's really interesting about it is the lightning absorb. A whopping 25%. You could pop two of these on a Frenzy Barbarian and run the Worldstone Keep, and the little souls are going to be scared and running away from you because they're not going to be able to damage you. You're going to suck that shit up like it's tasty. Every time they zap you with your lightning, you're going to be like, Mmm, yummy, give me more. The damage isn't very impressive, but it's not a bad item to have on your offhand if you're a Frenzy Barb. And for a paladin, if you're wearing fortitude and other added damage stuff, like damage charms, you could do alright with this thing. It gives you some elemental damage to deal with physical immunes, and a nice attack speed. And what's cool about phase blades is they never break. Azure Wrath is godly, and it's a phase blade as well, so it never breaks. It gives a ton of magic and cold damage to deal with those pesky physical immunes, and one to all skills and some attributes. You can't can't go wrong with that shit. But what really sets this thing apart is the fact that it has a sanctuary aura when equipped. What this aura does is it damages and knocks back undead when they're in your radius. So you can run around the chaos sanctuary and push back those annoying ghosts and oblivion knights and those doom knights, dude, it rocks. So again, you could pop one of these in your offhand if you're using, say, Breath of the Dying or Grief in your main hand and have a blast with it. So it's a cool sword. Doom Bringer could really get you through the entire game as a barbarian. You could pop two of them on and frenzy the shit out of everything. What's Epic about Doombringer is it dates back to Diablo 1. I remember back when I was a little duck-billed platypus, I found a Doombringer and I popped it on my character and I was like, holy shit, this is a unique item. And this Diablo game is amazing. I wonder if I'll be playing it still 20 years from now. The answer was yes. Doombringer gives you a huge bonus to attack rating, which really comes in handy in hell mode. And it also casts Weaken on Striking, which is a Necromancer curse. This curse reduces the damage in which enemies can induce on you, which is a glorious thing to have going on. In my Frenzy Barb, early on before I attained my rune words, I dual welded two Doombringers and I would beat the hell out of the council with it. I remember they would be cursed with weekend and I would rarely get hurt or 
especially murdered. They really couldn't murder my barbarian. Most often they couldn't anyway. Last on the list is the Grandfather. This one dates back to Diablo 1 as well. What was epic in Diablo 1 was the fact that the Grandfather was actually a two-handed sword, but any character could wield it one-handed. That was his, one of its special attributes. And before the rune words in Diablo 2, Grandfather was like the most GG sword you could attain. Everybody wanted this thing. It offers max damage per character level, up to 247. This thing is freaking godly for a unique. It's like the poor man's Breath of the Dying, because it also gives 20 to all attributes as opposed to 30 that Breath of the Dying offers. A huge bonus to attack rating as well, but the damage on this sword is very nice for a unique item. If you really want some style points, you could wield a Doombringer along with the Grandfather on a Frenzy Barbarian. And if people tell you that you're a piece of shit and you suck, just tell them that, hey, the reason I'm doing this is because it reminds me of Diablo 1. And then they'll probably still tell you that you suck. But nonetheless, man, you get style points from Iceman, all right? So hit me up if you do that. But anyway, what do you guys think of this video regarding top freaking GG unique swords in Diablo 2? And remember, I'm not including any rune words or rares or sets. Just some of the uniques. Which of these swords do you prefer to use? And what other swords do you like that are in this game? Let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate you guys subscribing to this page and liking the video. My channel has been growing and it's been very pleasing to my soul. So like the damn video and spread the word. More videos to come. Peace be with you.